Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to build a very affordable CIA spy device, the laser mic. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We are going dark. I want to start with a disclaimer though. Do not use the information in this video for any illegal or nefarious purposes. This is strictly for educational reasons only. So a laser microphone, also known as a laser spy device, can be built using relatively simple components. Note, this is how to construct a basic version. So the components you will need is a laser pointer. You have the visible red for testing, infrared for covert use, the photodiode and photocell, an audio amplifier circuit like the LM386, a power source, the battery, headphones or speaker, tripods for stability. Now, here's the assembly process. Set up the transmitter, right? Mount the laser pointer on a stable surface or tripod. Aim the laser at a reflective surface like the window of the target area. Now prepare the receiver. Connect the photo diode to the audio amplifier circuit. Attach the headphones or a speaker to the amplifier output. Mount the receiver on a tripod for stability. Align the system now, right? Position the receiver to capture the reflected laser beam. Fine tune the alignment for optimal signal reception. Now you're gonna have to test and adjust. So power on the system and listen for audio signals. So adjust the amplifier gain and positioning as needed. Now here is basically how it works. The laser microphone converts vibration into sound through a multi-step process. So a laser beam is directed at a reflected surface, such as a window that vibrates due to a nearby sound wave. As the surface vibrates, it causes slight deflections in the reflected laser beam. A photodiode or photocell in the receiver captures these deflections in the reflected laser light. The receiver converts the oscillating laser signal into an electrical signal. This electrical signal is then filtered to remove frequencies outside the range of human speech, right? Which is typically 300 HZ to 3400 HZ. The filtered signal is amplified using an audio amplifier circuit. Finally, the amplified signal is sent to a speaker or headphones reproducing the original sound that caused the vibrations. The laser microphone essentially acts like a needle on a record player with the laser beam serving as the needle and the vibrating surface as the record grooves. So by detecting these minute vibrations and converting them into electrical signals, the device can reconstruct the, you know, the audio that originally caused the object to vibrate. Now, there are some challenges that you may face when aligning the laser and receiver for, you know, optimal performance. So you have beam collimination and stability. Ensuring the laser beam remains collimated over long distances is critical for accuracy. So misalignment can occur if the beam diverges or shifts due to environmental factors like vibrations or temperature changes. Next is the angular and translational displacement. So precise control of both angular and translational displacement of the beam is required. This often involves using, you know, kinematic mounts or adjustable brackets to fine tune the beam's position and angle. Now there are some environmental factors as well, like temperature fluctuations, humidity and vibrations that can affect alignment. For example, Large temperature changes can cause deviations in beam accuracy, requiring time for the system to stabilize. There may also be visibility issues like outdoor conditions, such as direct sunlight, can reduce the visibility of the laser beam. This makes it harder to align the receiver accurately without additional tools like detection cards or pulse mode functionality. You also have real-time feedback so lack of real-time feedback can, you know, on beam position can lead to cumulative inaccuracies during alignment. So frequent checks uh, or, you know, calibration are necessary to detect and correct any drift. You have target surface pro uh, properties like the reflective surfaces must be stable and free from distortions as imperfections can scatter the laser beam and reduce signal quality. 
proper selection and preparation of the target surface are essential. Now, in regards to alignment over long distances, over extended ranges, even minor angular errors can result in significant displacement at the receiver. So using multiple reference points and iterative adjustments can help minimize these errors. Now, here are some considerations. Use an infrared laser for covert operations. Experiment with filters and signal processing to improve audio quality. Be aware that external factors like wind or passing vehicles can introduce noise. Ensure proper alignment for best results, so especially over longer distances. So that is what I have for today. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button if you gain value from this video. If you gain value, you appreciate and you want more videos like this, let me know by hitting that subscribe button and the like button right now. See you in the next video.